friends, let us pray. Dear God, we ask you today for your guidance, wisdom, and support as we begin this event. Help us focus and engage in meaningful discussion and allow us to grow and nurture. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you, Clara, for the prayer. Today, we'll be showcasing snippets of videos embodying the different CCAs and what students from each one have learned. But before we start, here's a short preview of all 12 CCAs. Here we're all very excited, so without further ado, let's get started, shall we? First up, let's welcome the debate CCA. But yeah, we had a lot of time, but dang, it's a lot of material. Hmm? Oh, I joined the competition because I honestly think it would be a very fulfilling experience and I genuinely think it could ramp up my debate skills, so yeah. I lied. Yeah, like a liar. I was never there for anything. The food? Mm, probably not. But essentially, it was for the CV. Duh. Hello everyone, my name is Aaron and I would like to give a speech about my most memorable memory from when I was younger. So I broke my right arm, oh that reminds me, I broke my left arm like less than a year after that and it hurt like crazy. But the I had a huge splinter like the day before. Greetings ladies and gentlemen. Today, my groupmates and I will be discussing the observations that we've made regarding people's mental health during the aftermath of this pandemic. We hope you enjoy what we've prepared. So, without further ado, let's begin. We have to take action. Millions of trash get dumped to the ocean every second. If you do not stop, we are bound to lose one of Earth's greatest treasures, the sea. Speaking of seas, help the sea by purchasing a drink from Jonas Juicy Joyful Milkshakes with flavors like strawberry to bubblegum. Includes discounts starting from 20% to 50%. Just a reminder, we are not to blame for you if you experience food poisoning after consuming our products. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Yeah, so after all this speaking, I think you are wrong. Quite frankly, I don't think morals and diplomacy should be taken account of when we debate. Cheers, cheers. I only mentioned the benefits of using power to our advantage. Don't be mad. Sorry? What are my thoughts on nuclear bombing? Well, you sure did ask the right person. So, see, debate is all about violence and the survival of the fittest. And in fact, according to page 365 of Karl Marx's Communist Manifesto, Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed our comedy skit. Don't worry, it's all roleplay and I'm actually not an active member of communism. Of course, we made the video to make it entertaining but at the same time informative since essentially this is what goes on in a debate in a nutshell. In contrast to MUN's DOS, the name of our CCA isn't centered around using fancy committee procedures and deliberating whether Donald Trump is an extremist right wing. It is instead catered around making sure the fervor of public speaking and debate is implanted as a passion in every member's hearts, and our teachers, Mr. Shani and Mr. Ganesh, have been working exceptionally to make sure everyone here has a platform to grow, improve, and use their voices for the better. Hopefully, this video teaches you about what a real committee debate looks like in real life and sparks up a little interest or two in public speaking as well.
Thank you, Debate CCA. That was very entertaining. Now let us all welcome the Broadcasting CCA. In five, four, three, two. We talk and we film. Recording video. Talking. Just go with the flow. We learn how to deliver certain topics through effective communication and be open to discussions. Communication. Researching. I learn how to make podcasts and speak confidently. Broadcasting is actually really fun and you get to meet a lot of new people. Oh. Exciting. Thank you, Broadcasting CCA. Let us now take a look at the Chinese Cultural Club throughout the semester.
Thank you for uh, the Chinese Cultural Club. It is now time for the Arts and Photography CCA to showcase some of their best work. Hello teachers and students. My name is Erica and I am the CCA president for Art CCA. The CCA for Art is also run by Mr. Yanwar. In this video, we would be talking about the photo we took, as well as some of our opinions regarding the CCA. Hi, my name is Megan from Sachi Taylor, and this is a picture that I took for my photography CCA. The team was Nature Abstract Photography, and I took this picture, which is my phone. This picture shows a lot of pattern, textures, and also shadows. These are the effects that creates a focus on the picture. Photography CC had taught me a lot about different types of photography, how to get the perfect angles, lightings, and had also brought me to many adventures. Moreover, I learned about general editing and background changing. Of all the pictures that I took throughout the course of this CCA, I would say this is probably my best work. Um, so, we were asked to take a picture of anything that had some sort of relation to nature, and I decided to take a picture of a flower. Um, one of the other requirements of the picture was, of the, of the task, was that we were asked to take it from like a unique angle. And uh, this is what I did. Hi, this is Alvin uh, Matthew for so, so the CCA. Okay. I got this photo because my mom plants a lot of plants, right? She's been taking care of them for like years now. For, and for me to like take a photo and all of that actually pretty sweet and every time I go outside I see them I always think about all the hard work she's put in so when I took a picture for her for CCA it's pretty good <laughs> okay thanks for this day so I took this picture and uh, there was really no inspiration behind the photo other than trying to make it look nice so I put a mirror below my Mac and I just put on a black screen and took the picture from any angle I wanted to take it from and then uh, about the CCA it's pretty decent Mr. Yanwar teaches decently well and um, uh, he is he he is quite late sometimes and sometimes not everyone joins the CCA but other than that it's a pretty decent CCA Hi, my name is Calvin from GC1 Forest. I took this photo of a city outside my window since I live in an apartment. The theme for this image was cityscape. This is one of the photos that I've been meaning to take for a while. I think I did a good job at taking this photo and I edited it to give it newer colors. I think this CCA is nice because I get to learn something new and it feels refreshing to learn photography. Thank you, Arts and Photography CCA, for the great pictures. Now, why don't we listen to some soothing music from orchestra and choir that will definitely help you relax from a tiring week of exams.
DM and you can start. I, the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry. All who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save. I who made the stars of night, I will make their darkness bright. Who will bear my light to them? Who shall I send? Round of applause to the orchestra and choir CCA for the great performance. I'm hoping the next video will lift all your moods because now it's time for fitness, dance, and home economics. Baby, now and then, I think about me now and who I could have been. And then I picture all the perfect guys. Welcome to Tabata. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one, go!
Hello, uh, this is Aaron from Secondary Material and I am in the CCA of Fitness Club. I learned on how do we make like an exercise routine that makes us healthy and my opinion about it is actually not bad. And I also know a few stuff that the exercise is good for what like push up is good for the head and legs and thighs is actually good for everything. Yeah, I deserve that. Cause I, I, I'm in the dust tonight So watch me bring the fire set the night light Hi everyone, I am Meta from Saxonita. The NCCA has been a really fun experience. Every class we would go through the dance steps and our dance coach would be so patient in going through the choreography. He also makes sure that we are having fun and not pressuring ourselves. But for me, dancing always brings me joy. So I'm really happy I chose to dance for my CCA. I can't wait for our next class.
Hello everyone, I'm Nicole from Sektu Pasco. During this pandemic, I found interest in cooking after baking together with my mom at home to pass some time. So when the school gave home economics as a CCA, I immediately signed up for it. Turns out I enjoyed and had much fun in cooking. To me, cooking is one of the important life skills that is useful for all of us. By joining the CCA, I learned how to cook my own meals which I could never do before. I really enjoyed home economics since I get to try new dishes and the best part of it all is that I get to taste my own creation. Hey guys, my name is Sherry from JC1 Forbes and I'm from the Home Economics CCA. This CCA in general taught me the skills needed to become a successful chef, such as time management, perseverance, and responsibility. Before each CCA time, it was my task to prepare the ingredients needed for each dish. As someone with a passion for cooking, it was my absolute dream to have a cooking CCA. I truly loved each and every dish, and they all turned out really, really delicious, even if they didn't look too pretty. Those recipes looked really delicious. So thank you so much, uh, Home Economics. Let us now move on to the science club and take a look at all the fun projects the students have worked on. my project for the science experiment. Today I'm building a couple bridges with two specific designs. The designs are the triangle and the square and we'll test how sturdy each material is. Next is the straw. So for the straw I have this big pack of straws and we can just do the exact same thing with the exact same length as the popsicle sticks and square again. Now it's time for the bridge breaking. Thank you for watching! My opinion on the science CCA is that it helps students to explore more areas of experimentation and arts, especially for those not so funny one but are old like me, where we get a chance to re-explore art. The teachers are lenient with their project use, but sometimes the projects are a bit difficult to complete because some are quite busy with other matters. Though, it's only been one project per term, so it is most definitely achievable. Overall, it is a pleasant CCA, and I don't necessarily regret picking it. Wow, those experiments took so fun. Next up, let us welcome what I'm sure it's everyone's favorite CCA, online games. Re 
Lipo, ginagawa niya lang ang trabaho niya, which is to spin push Cartesi under the tower. There goes the Tordros and the God Light! Good morning everyone, my name is Davian and I will be talking about the online game CCA. So without further ado, let's get started. So far, after the experience I went through, it wasn't as bad as I thought. But the problem I came across was uh, the fact that I lost motivation in, in the first few weeks of playing. And that is a possible downside uh, to my team and possibly me. An example would be is uh, when I told my, when I always told my team that I will grind back to master, but I didn't because I lacked ex experience, time, and motivation. Other than that, uh, it was pretty fun. When it came to the tournament, it was pretty much a fail because probably of uh, my ex my lack of experience of the game. But uh, it was still fun nonetheless. I also got to learn uh, some things like uh, to farm more often than I did. With that being said, I guess um, this CCA will end and we will meet again in semester 2. Hi, I'm Andrew and I joined the online gaming CCA. So I joined the CCA because, to be honest, it was appealing. Playing video games for an hour, why not? And because a lot of other people decided or wanted to join. So I go wherever the crowd goes. For, that, for the first term, we played Mobile Legends, a 5v5 mobile game that we played tournament style. And from that and from the entire CCA in general, I got to have a lot of fun, especially because the game forced my friends into playing this game with me and I got to bond with a lot of people I knew already or didn't know before and yeah this CCA was just a really big break from exams and homework that me and the others really needed. The reason I joined the gaming CCA is uh, I think I've been lacking on teamwork uh, very lately so maybe uh, I really don't work well in teams and I think I I'm not really useful in teams so I decided to maybe try out the gaming CC and see if it can improve my teamwork uh, it's a really fun type of CCA I recommend it if you like gaming a lot and the benefits I got from the CCA are actually that I've met a lot of new friends and that I have actually improved my teamwork from what I've seen so far uh, the real, re uh, real reason is I joined this CCA is because of uh, to improve my teamwork and I've really seen a lot of benefits joining the CCA which is helping for me to be useful in teams or to help my team in any way possible. Uh, that's all for me. Basically, if you like gaming or like anything part of gaming and you're very good at teamwork or maybe you're bad at it, you can probably join the CCA. Thank you. That's all for me. To end the day, let us watch Christian Fellowship's video and fill our hearts with the word of God. Hello everyone. This video from the Christian Fellowship CCA will be showing what we have done the past semester and will give you a small idea of the activities we will be doing in the future. Now, we will be showing a few clips of some of our students explaining and elaborating on their life verses. Hi, my name is Warren, and my life verse is John 14, verse 6, which says, Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus did not simply say he would show us the way, but that he is the way. Jesus did not say he would tell us some truths, but he is the incarnate truth. Jesus Christ is the life. Christ is the source of all spiritual life, and in him is eternal life for all who trust in his work. And Jesus said, 
No one comes to the Father except through me. There is no other way to God, no other truth about God, and no other life apart from God. God is greater than our highs and lows. You've probably seen this phrase many times and probably have been wondering what it actually means. This verse is trying to remind us how great our God is, bigger than our ups and downs in life, greater than the things that make you happy or sad during good times or bad times. This implies that regardless of how bad the problems you're going through are, you have to stay rooted in faith with the very belief that our God is bigger than this. When we are experiencing success or prosperity, it is crucial to always be reminded that we shouldn't forget God when things are looking up and when we are absorbing the great things that surround us. Similarly, in our low moments, we shouldn't fall into the trap of believing that situations in our life are beyond God and He is nothing compared to the problems we are facing. However, always remember that we should always put our trust in Him because faith can move mountains and He is greater than them. Romans 12 verse 12 says, Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. The above verse shows us how we are to respond in various situations we face in life. Our hearts should be full of joy because we have hope in Christ. When facing troubles, patience will prevent us from giving up before seeing our victory. What you are seeing right now are a few of the posters which our students have made for their life verses. We also do arts and craft activities at the Christian Fellowship CCA. One of the examples of these activities is what you are seeing right now, making accordion books. The main theme for these accordion books was the meaning of love according to 1 Corinthians 13. Now to end this video, a short Bible verse from Deuteronomy 31 verse 6. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Thank you for watching. Let me now call on Kyra, who will give a short thank you speech to, to the committee. First of all, I believe the CCA event had brought up excitement and in trailing videos to all of you and something you would enjoy to watch after the exams. But of course, I could not let this event to end without thanking all the members who have helped their absolute best and working behind the scene who not only plan and organize this event, but have executed everything with so much zeal. Our creative team, Jivinsha, Anjali, Chloe, Alvin, the secretary, Valerin, publication team, Clara and Stella, and of course, my partner, Laura. I would then like to thank the teachers who have been supporting. I needed to mention my deep sense of appreciation to the teachers that are in charge of this event and the efforts taken by them in encouraging us. On this note, this would not have been possible without the help of all the members and teachers. In fact, I do not feel anything except tremendous joy and gratitude for everything and everyone who have been working so hard. That's all for me. Thank you. 
Thank you, Kara, for that wonderful speech. Of course, the session wouldn't be complete without our very own principles. So let's welcome Mr. Richard to see what he's got to say for this event. Good morning, everyone. Um, I would like to thank all the students who have worked hard in their CCA to prepare um, the um, showcase. But I'm sure there are so many others, um, things, other things that the students have done um, that cannot be shown today. Um, this is just to show that the students, our students, all of you are actually creative and that all the, you know, all the members, if you work together, you can achieve a good teamwork and a good result. I guess we are um, in this pandemic situations where people would say, oh, teamwork is difficult. Yes, it is. I'm, I'm not saying it's easy. I, I, I think you know the challenges and so on, but overcoming this challenge will actually make you um, better skilled and, and uh, having this better ability to, to improve on, on the teamwork. And I, I only want you to um, improve in the future. So um, thank you again for the teachers and the students who have um, prepared all this. I, I hope we can, have, uh, we can see more and have uh, more presentation in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Richard, for your wise and encouraging words of speech. Now, before we close this session, let's do a closing prayer and let's close our eyes and pray. Dear God, we thank you for today's productive session and for continuously guiding us in your light. Let us have a beautiful day as we go about our week, granting safeness and strength for all the people in this meeting. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Now, it's not the end yet because Warren has something to say regarding MUN, so Warren passing it over. Uh, could you guys invite uh, my two other friends, Richie and Kasapa? Okay, hi everyone. Uh, right now, I, along with my two friends, Warren and Kasapa, will do a quick presentation about MUN. Uh, personally, we found MUN really fun because we got to meet a lot of new people and participate in various fun activities. We learned a lot of valuable lessons, ate good food, and had a lot of fun in general. But times are different now. We can't really promise you that you will have the exact same experience as us. But however, there are still several several reasons why you should still join MUN. I'll now pass the mic to Kazapa. So during the MUN, we are going to put into rules with different people and different views. We are going to be given time to speak and express our opinion to solve a problem to the given rules. Yes, some of them may disagree with your view, but that is what MUN is. Some people will undoubtedly disagree with you, but we will uh, we will learn how to persuade them into believing that our solution is better than anyone else. 
It's all right if we cannot get anything out, we still can sit and listen to what they're saying while also learning and understanding their views. Though, because the, it's still the pandemic, just like what my friend said, I can't really say it will be the same as what we have last, last year. One other point why you should attend the MUN is because attending the MUN is an ideal way to network, make new friends, and build connections that will come handy later on in life. During the MUN, you'll meet other delegates, senior delegates, organizers, judges, chairs of the event, like Kasapa previously mentioned. By making new contacts and meeting possible mentors, you can build your network for future use. MUNs are also known for their quality, high standards, and difficulty levels. And participating in one will really help you when you apply for colleges or jobs. Top Ivy League colleges, such as Yale and Harvard, have been known to give additional consideration to students who have attended MUNs. Admissions officers and job interviewers look for candidates with discipline, confidence, and problem-solving skills, all traits which are exemplified by participating in the MUN. And I will now pass it back to Richie. Uh, all in all, my advice for all of you who will join this is just to have fun with it, or at least try. I understand that it is not easy to have fun in an online environment, so don't take it too seriously or else it won't be memorable. I'm not saying you shouldn't try to win, just don't stress yourself too much. As previously mentioned, MUN is a very good thing to have in your CV later on when you're applying to university, so you'll be glad you joined when the time comes. Thanks for listening, guys. So thank you, Warren and his friends for the info. The session is now officially closed, so everyone is welcome to leave. Bye, guys. Kyra and Tim can stay back for a while. Bye, thank you, everyone. Thank you, sir.